Good morning. The Instagram followers of Vax and Tartans have spoken. 85% wanted a follow on video uh, review of this jacket. 15% more, oh, you're a bit boring. Um, right, so the Barber Top to Toe Skyfall jacket or the sports jacket as it is actually known as um, is one of the most sought after barbers of all time, uh, in my personal opinion. Obviously, one more Daniel Craig in the film in Scotland, it just is the greatest looking jacket. It's my, it's now my personal favourite at the moment. It's an olive six ounce wax cotton shell, um, eight ounce wax cotton padding on the shoulders, uh, sorry, the shoulders here, and the sort of the lower arm region. Um, and with, I believe, leather cuff um, protectors here. And uh, I believe it's also deer skin on the collar, uh, which is a nice change from the traditional core drawer you get with most barbers. It's, there's no zip, which I'll go over in a bit, uh, the pros and cons of that. And um, so the fastening is three buttons, um, it's just like a sports jacket, just like a tailored jacket there. So that does up here. Then you have a the storm flap, massive, massive storm flap, which is tweed lined um, for a bit of extra warmth, which is really, really soft, really warm. And that uh, does up with a little button here. It also has another extra flap here just to keep everything tight, everything sort of really solid. Uh, these buttons here are for the hood and along with the railing for the zip around the neck. Unfortunately, I don't have the hood. The eBay seller I've got this from. Um, does not know where it is. Um, it's, she sold it to me um, by a family member, so she's going to ask that person, see what I can find. Uh, it'd be really nice to have the hood. I won't wear it, but obviously with this jacket, kind of really do need the hood just to have it around. Uh, also other features, it has a single flat chest pocket here, which is quite hard to open with one hand. It's quite deep. You get some, uh, Got to get gloves in there, some nice driving gloves, um, maybe some used shotgun shells, some, some new ones. Oh, this is a hunting jacket. You have your large bellow pockets here, right at the bottom. Two of these, one on either side. And again, they've got leather, they're reinforced as well, um, buttoned. The, the right one also has a change pocket, uh, which is really quite nice. I was a bit confused, I wasn't aware of that. And so you can put your change in there, you put your phone, wallet, you keep it away from everything else. Another feature here is it has the two-tone olive um, on the outside as well. Turning the jacket around, here you can see a little bit more the zip. That goes for the hood, nice stand-up collar. You also have a small, compared to the Beaufort's game pocket, uh, it's fully lined in the tartan, uh, tartan um, cotton. So that goes all the way through, which is nice. Um, it's not huge. You can't put your groceries in there like you can with the Beaufort or the Moreland, but you can, it's about sort of my hand width and it goes along. So you can get some, as it was made for, some shotgun shells, or you can put like a, just a small rod on newspaper, absolutely fine. Turn the jacket around again. You can see the swoop of the arm. It's all reminiscent of my old international from the seventies and before. So it's really comfortable. It's quite very, very natural shoulder, articulated arms. You have your three drainage holes here. It's a nice tailored sideways as well. And this is the one with the pocket, little pocket inside. Uh, it's lined with the classic tartan cotton. It's not the thick cotton you get in like Beauforts and uh, Borders, but you do, it's more of the Lutz, which is the, I have the Lutz just here, which I'll show in a bit as well. So that's the external features, um, which is really, really nice. Some people don't like this storm flap. Um, obviously, I know that the costume designers for Skyfall, they didn't like it, so they unstitched this, took this out, and they took the zipper out and the poppers as the buttons. So if you want a more screen accurate jacket, you go for the Commander, um, which is based off of this. It's, it's identical, just without this big storm flap, the buttons or the zip. Um, I personally prefer this. Um, just because A, I like more B, B originals, I like originals. Um, and also this really helps. I was out last night, it was three degrees, uh, about late night shopping. It kept me really, really warm. 
The only issue on the outside while I'm here is you do all the buttons, but this bit here is left exposed. Um, it's really solid up top, quite weak warmth wise at the bottom. So if you, I'm not sure how that would be rectified. Um, thick jumper should be fine, but I'd really keep the elements out. You might want to invest in a, a zip up coat. The Lutz, to be fair, is better at keeping the rain out on the bottom half of the jacket than this. Um, I've got a love-hate relationship with Lutz, but I'll go through that shortly. Inside, put this on some cheating a little bit. <coughs> Inside, you have two closer. You have two uh, internal pockets, tweed lined, so the tweed runs all the way through and all the way down to the bottom, which is really, really nice. I've had a, this is some of you may have seen, I've had a, I have a massive tear here, which I've cat-handedly sewn together, but it works, it's a barber, they're not meant to be perfect. You care instructions as usual. Um, Barbara Sendy needs some replacement tartan for this, so that will be fixed soon, hopefully next week, which is really, really cool. If I take your jacket off. And here you can see the famous Toki Toe label in the same tweed as the outside with very, very nice orange embroidery. Get a closer look at that. So now the, this jacket is a size large, which is, I, I've heard, not in my own words, I've heard that it is the most sought after size because they are very, very tight jackets. And obviously if you wear a 38 or a 42, you want to go higher than you would be usually. So if you wear a medium, go for a large, wear a large, wear an extra large. I usually wear a large in, in most, most barber, but, this very, very fortunately fits. So this is what it looks like on, and you've seen pictures of me on my Instagram wearing it, but we got these. The zippers are very, very solid. The hardware is very, very nice. So this is the jacket on, as you can see, it's very tailored, very high arm holes, full range of motion here, very articulated. Obviously, you pop the collar like in the film, very 60s. So this is the Skyfall jacket. This, this is a very, very hard to get hold of jacket for the right price. They are very, very expensive. Unfortunately, well, fortunately for me, unfortunately for the seller on eBay, she just put it up on eBay as a large barber jacket. Um, and I got it for a very, very good price. It's very vulgar to talk about money, but I got it for 70 pounds. Usually they're about 400 to 800. I've seen one sold recently for 1200 brand new, which I think is just ridiculous for a barber, but the supply and demand, I guess, and obviously the bond effect. So the, to, to do this up, how I would wear it. So I pop the pocket, pop the thing in there. Now you can wear it like this, just as a little bit of more casualness, just to keep a bit of wind out, but I like to drop the button. I like to do the Daniel Cray, how he wears it. Do the top, do the two, uh, the middle and the top, and always leave the bottom one undone. It's coming from a tailoring background, that's natural to me. But as you can see here, my jumper is fully exposed. So obviously the rain's coming at you. You go to the top half, you would go and dry. You're going to get a bit of a wet jumper and wet jeans. So you can do the bottom one. Obviously it was made for that. But as it's a sports jacket, leave it undone. Do the do the right thing. Nice below pockets here, very comfortable, very nice to put your arms in. Uh, two drainage holes as well, um, standard sort of barber stuff. Now, in the film, Bond puts his pockets in, which you can do here. Um, now, unlike the other ones, like the Beaufort or the Lutz, for example, they've got quite large pocket flaps. You can't really do it, it's not great. But this, these ones you can, so you just pop your pocket right in there, just like that. So you can put your ease of access, or you can have them out. I have them out just because of that's just my OCD, I've got to have things closed. Um, pocket up here, so easy access, put your phone in there, put your wallet, some shells, whatever you want to do. Now to do it fully, do this button here. This is where I wish I had the hood to show you what the hood looks like, but hopefully maybe one day I will find one, or if anyone has one spare, let me know. So this little flap here really locks everything in place. So it's like a double storm flap, so the wind and the rain is not getting through here. The leather on the back of the neck can get quite warm, 
Um, I experienced that yesterday. I had to put a scarf. I put a scarf in, just like in the film, a nice brown scarf. Popped it straight in there, wrapped it around to do the wrap around effect, um, and it kept it really nice. But the leather can get a bit warm um, if you are in, sh in our shops or in the warm. So something just to you know keep an eye out for. So I'll do this now. This jacket came to me very, very unloved. It had, as you can see, had the tear here, had a tear here, and also, well, there was another tear as well, I can't remember, but I have fixed Oh yes, the, this bit of the pocket was coming down about this much. So I had to do a lot of TLC before I can re-wax it. We believe that the previous seller did put it through the washing machine. It came to me very, very light brown. Um, which I know olive can go light brown if you don't wax it, it does lighten up over time. But this was very, very weird. It was all blotchy, it had patches, uh, which you can still see. Um, it's not going to be perfect. I'll never get this jacket to be as pristine as my Beaufort would be after a rewax. Um, I used a whole tin on this, so it was really thirsty, it was very, very dry. It did smell amazing, it had that old school barber smell, but it was, it was almost, not worth saving if it wasn't the Tokito Skyfall jacket. If it was a standard border, then I wouldn't even have thought twice. But I had to, we had to do something about this. So well, thanks to everyone um, uh, sort of helping me out, sort of tips on how to re-wax an unwaxed jacket. So it really helped. Uh, so it took me two hours, um, a whole bowl of chili from carne and um, a lot of uh, a lot of tissue paper and sponges to make this as it is. So this is the, the Skyfall jacket. It's a very, very lovely coat. It's like one of my favorite things. Don't even think about offering money on it. I know that some of you will always offer on my coat. Not happening on this one. Get your own. Uh, this is the, this is the Lutz that Barbara sent me back in May, I believe. So this is very, very loosely based off of this, uh, of the sports jacket I'm wearing now. It has the big bellow pockets here. As you can see, similarities. The three buttons on the front, just like this. The big pockets, just like this. And that sort of tailored feel to it. Now, this, apart from this one does have two, has double vents, two poppers either side, and uh, it's like a half Norfolk belt as well. Now, the, the cons of both jackets, and this is, this is, it's not all sunshine and rainbows with the Skyfall coat. It has the same membrane as the Lutz. So now all I can describe without opening this up is that you can, you can feel like a plastic bag inside between the wax cotton shell and the cotton lining. There is a membrane in here that for waterproofing. It's not a waterproof jacket. It's a great jacket, but it's not waterproof. I get wet. Um, mainly from the inside, so it's very, very restricting. Um, beautiful jacket, but you know, thank you, Barbara, for sending me this one. But I should have chosen, chosen a different one to be honest. It has the same lining, inner lining, as this. Now, luckily, this one is open, so you can kind of see it's like a this sort of plastic baggy thing all the way around. I know it's to stop any excess water getting in, but it has completely ruined any breathability. The Beaufort, my classic Beaufort, which is, and will always will be my everyday old friend barber. That thing will live with me until I die. But that doesn't have it. Those old traditional ones are better everyday use. Um, obviously, I won't be wearing this, you know, in the field, I won't be wearing this digging. It was, it's, a, it's, a, it's a casual le leisurely jacket, it's a, it's a fashion piece, to put it, put it that way. Um, but it is one of those coats that if you do find one for a very, very good price, or if you do have any amounts of money, I would very highly recommend buying this um, over the, the Commander or the Beacon, now it's called. Just because it is, you have that op option of the extra storm flap. You have the option to have a hood. Now the 
the newer version, the re-release, is more screen accurate because they have on the film they did cut this out and they cut all the hood off. But you have the option there. So obviously, if you buy the new one, you can't put a hood on it. You don't have this storm flap. Um, I have tried one on in the in a sort in a Piccadilly uh, barber store. You could only do the buttons. You can only do the buttons. So it was more like a sports coat, which is great. But the wind can get in. It's I use barber as a tool. They are tools, they're not fashion pieces. My barbers get used, they get thrown on the ground, I wrap my dog up in them, I you know, put you know, animals, whatever, in the back pocket. It's just a tool for me. So, but they look great as well, which is nice. But this extra piece here, I would recommend going for this one. If you don't like it, tuck it in. You know, if you want to just have it, just tuck it in. It's not gonna, it's not thick, it's not gonna do anything. But when the rain comes, just whip it out, tuck it there, and you have that bit of extra protection as well. So that is my sort of in-depth sort of review, go through, sort of walk through of the Barber Tokito Heritage Beacon, I believe. Um, but it is known that everyone now as the James Bond Skyfall jacket. It's going to be one that's going to be in my collection for a very, very long time. Um, no doubt I'll ever get another one. With the story and then me repairing it and re-waxing re, re, uh, re it and saving it as this. Um, so I feel a little bit more close to this one if that makes sense. But, so get one, we'll just tell me what you think of this, share this video around. If you want any more, I'll do a few more of these videos comparing other ones. I've got a couple of quilts I'll do, I've got the Countryman. I've got two Countryman jackets actually. Um, we've got another one on the way, so I'll go through a compare of the Exdale, Liddesdale, Countryman, a couple of other quilts here and there, and some more wax jackets, the Northumbrias versus the Borders versus the Beedells, Beauforts, whatever, I can do a lot, I've got access to a very, very unlimited amount of barb jackets, so let me know what you want, um, and I can always see what I can do to find that jacket and give you a, a full depth review on it. Um, let me know what you think of this jacket. I quite like it, don't you?